Okay, you've seen us use growlers on the show before. We didn't necessarily use them for what they were intended for, but they are actually meant just to keep something under pressure. Now, under pressure. You knew it was coming. Yeah, I did. TM Craft, who is the brand that we actually use for our growlers, reached out to us, I guess, not even a week ago. Yeah. And after a little bit of back and forth, they asked us if we would do a review. So they sent us a brand new growler. So this is a sponsored review video just yes. for you. For TM Craft. Growlers. Now they sent us the product, no money changed hands, so it is a completely like we're not, we don't owe them anything, and they will not see this video before you. They will see it at the same time as you if they watch it on the same day that it comes out. <laughs> so that means we get to say whatever we want. Now you, you already know we like these things. Yeah, okay? they're the ones that you, we use. But <laughs> I am going to give you a comprehensive review. In the words of Casey Neistat. So this is an unboxing, meaning we haven't opened this box yet. The reveal is As you can tell, because live. it's more difficult than it should be. Just to pull that little tab out, it took me forever. Ooh, it's the black one. Oh, the black one. We didn't have a black one. That makes one. me happy. I like the black one. Ooh, and they, we got the, 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 the thingy. The thingy. The... Okay, let's, let's start with the keg. The keg itself is a single wall construction. It's stainless steel. They do have this nice cap on top of it, so you can store it without anybody or anything getting inside it that you don't want. You can also keep stilled beverages in there with the cap on, but be really, really careful doing that. With the thingy that she's talking about, I'm guessing it's a cozy, like a warmer or an insulator of some type. Yeah. I was trying to see if they had a... Or it's just... Was included yeah, list. it's... I don't really think this is going to do a whole lot for keeping it warm or cool. It's like a neoprene cover. I mean, it's nice. I like it. It's, it's, it's cute. And it says TM Craft on it. Um, I guess if you're transporting this and you kept it in the fridge mm -hmm. and you put that on, that'll keep it a little cooler during transport. Yes. I, can, I can see that. I like it. Comes with instructions, also comes with some parts. Let's get to the parts. What's the word? What's the saying? Parts is parts. They usually give you some extra seals and pieces. That's really important to know. Then here is the pressure regulator uh, and also the canister would plug into this. And the pressure regulators on these go up to 30 pounds. That's what tells me this is meant for holding carbonation in something that's already been made rather than actually carbonate because you generally want a higher carbonation and we broke one of these when we fermented in the in this because we got higher pressure than that yeah um, but it is actually a really nice smooth action on the valve the increase and decrease is clearly marked really really easy to know if you're open or closed which is very important, important to know to do that um, but yeah like i say it's a really smooth action it's actually a really high quality valve um, that's one thing that i really like it's very heavy, so it's machined metal. It, it feels like a piece of high quality uh, workmanship. Okay, on to the next piece. I don't even know what this is yet. It's the tool. The tool. This wrench works to tighten down all of your b various fittings and things like that. And this end works for the faucet that's and They do out. show you using the tool in the instructions to help you know how to use it and when to use it. Yep. And then here we have, okay, this is the main central part when you, take this off, you would screw this into here. Now, pressure regulator would screw on here. Over here is pressure release valve. That's really important. It is an automatic pressure release valve. If it gets too high, this will release the pressure. Now, it's not regulated to the regulator that you have, the gauge. This will not release before that'll actually get forced past 30 PSI. Right. It's more of a it's, safety it's of a thing safety for so the that this doesn't vessel. explode, yeah. okay? Yeah. So that's this. This is also very heavy, feels very high quality. There's an O-ring seal and there's a spring here. And that is to be attached to this part, which is the faucet. Spigot, spigot. I don't know why the handle comes in two pieces like this, I guess just for clean, but that is the spigot it comes with a spring that if you put it in wide end in first, then you can attach the spigot. And then you have your little tightening tool. See, it has a tooth and you put it in there and you can tighten it up. I'm not really gonna tighten it. I just like to show you this part. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? The first time I put one together, um, 
I didn't put the spring in because I was like, what's that for? You know, I don't follow instructions. <laughs> so it leaked like crazy yeah. because so, I didn't do it so right. So follow the instructions. Or destructions as I like to call them. Also included in here is the tubing. Now, they give you a ton of tubing. Yeah, and they say right in the instructions to cut the beer hose to the right length as the mini keg, then insert the beer hose into the spear. Now, uh, one of the kits that we got actually has a little weight that goes at the end. Right. Most of them do not. I don't have a problem with that because all you do is when you drop it in, make sure you have enough to coil down in the bottom. Yep. And that shouldn't be an issue for 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, you will get a little sediment in the bottom and everything anyway, so you don't necessarily want to suck all that up. I'm trying to rewrap the hose so it goes back in. But essentially, this is a complete kit. The only thing it doesn't come with is the CO2 canisters. It takes the 3 8 inch threaded cartridges. You want to make sure they're food grade. There's a lot of like paintball canisters and things like that. They will have oils and other things inside them, you don't really want to be ingesting. Don't look at those and go, oh, this is for a paintball, because some of them, some are, of them are food grade. Food grade. So you're searching for the food grade part. Don't worry about the other stuff. Yeah, the food grade Just part make sure you have food grade and make sure that they're the right thread count for your particular growler. Make it sound like sheets. Sheets? Thread count. Oh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Think about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna start jamming this stuff back in. So that's the basics on what it comes with. Now, our experience with these has been great. Awesome. Everything about them, they're a high quality piece of machinery. All of the little parts that you can adjust, like, you know, even this, there's an adjustment to make it tighter or looser. There's a lot of little things. We do use them in another video, so I'm not gonna go over that because that would be a lot more, but the general gist is you have your gauge and everything attached up here. You put a cylinder on it and it pressurizes the vessel. Very, very simple. By using the gauge, you can keep the precise amount of pressure that you want for pouring, which is usually between five and 10 PSI. And then you have your spigot so you can be all fancy and pull a, a pour out of your growler. Now we use these for making carbonation and we did use one for fermentation. I don't know that I'd recommend that yet, but I do have some tools and extras for these growlers that I'm gonna be making a video on soon. Just have to test them out and make sure that everything works properly. So if you are interested in dipping your toes into the mini keg world, we highly recommend getting a TM Craft. Yes, absolutely. Uh, there are several brands on the market, but I think that this, for the money, it's it's like a $99 item. Uh, really just fantastic product. I've actually been in touch with the company themselves. They do a great job. And um, we do have a link to this in the description of the video. That way you can go to Amazon and purchase one for yourself. Yes, we do get a small commission if you buy one at no additional cost to you. But all of those proceeds help to support the channel and keep us making content just like this so that we can still keep making videos. So please use our link, make a purchase, buy five, maybe 10 of them, you know. If it's you always have good any, to have extras. If you have any questions about the growler, please let us know in the, in the comment section below. Also, if there's another product that you're really keen on us trying out for you, let us know that as well and we can see what we can do. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.